fears. We can all have fears. And what you'll often notice with a narcissistic individual is they will go all out to project their worst fears into you. They will sell you the dreams of your future and then they will deliver you an absolute living nightmare as they make all their worst fears come true for you. Narcissistic individuals typically exhibit a sense of grandiosity, a sense of entitlement, a belief that they are superior. Yet beneath the facade lies a deep fear of various things that drives their manipulative, underhand behaviour. Narcissists are incredibly envious of others and they feel entitled to have their needs met. And one of a narcissistic individual's first fears is their fear of failure. We are all more than capable of fearing failure. And it can usually stop us from doing something that would potentially be good for us. When you've got a supportive person, they're going to try and help you through to recognise that to fail is just your first attempt in learning. And we just learn from it and get up and go again. With a narcissist, they will go all out to point out other people's mistakes and failings, to bring people crashing down because they're envious. They don't want to see people succeeding. They want to ruin other people's chances. The narcissist's success and self-worth is built on themselves being perceived as perfect, perfect and not making mistakes. Their fear of failure runs very deep because failure threatens their grandiose sense of self-importance, it threatens their self-image, it exposes their vulnerabilities. So they will go all out to pass the blame and scapegoat somebody else in order to not take responsibility for their behaviour. They look for somebody else to take the fall. They gaslight other people. They shift the blame onto the other person. They scapegoat another person. Anything, yet admit fault and take responsibility. Therefore, they don't improve. They get worse because they don't learn from the error of their own ways. They don't learn from the errors of other people. They just learn how to manipulate better and get away with any given situation. Abandonment and rejection. If you've been around a narcissist, you will know that being abandoned is not pleasant. Being rejected isn't pleasant. You're never rejected. You're always redirected. With a narcissist, their need for that constant attention and admiration and supply, the fear of being abandoned is absolutely horrific for them because when they're abandoned it shatters their fragile sense of self-esteem their fragile sense of self-worth when they're rejected it threatens their ego which is why they will go all out to pull somebody back in to rein somebody back in and then usually they will discard the other person so that the narcissist can feel like they've regained control over the situation. The narcissist's fear of abandonment and rejection is usually why they go all out to isolate other people and to criticise and mock and humiliate and bring other people down so that the narcissist can remain superior and feel like they're in control of the situation. Criticism. Criticism isn't pleasant, especially when you've been around a narcissist who will constantly criticise you over trivial things. They constantly nitpick and tear you down. They make their worst fears come true for you. And as we can have things such as constructive feedback and they lead us to believe that they care about us, we tend to take on board their criticism and question ourselves and not their behaviour. With a narcissist, they can't even handle constructive feedback. They believe that they already know everything. They don't need any advice from somebody like you. They're better than you. They know more than you. Criticism challenges their sense of superiority. And to regain control of the situation, they might turn around and say, who do you think you are? Or, sorry, I forgot you were perfect. Anything to make themselves feel better and you feel worse. Vulnerability. It's not always easy, it's not always pleasant being vulnerable, it's not always easy to admit things that have happened. However, 
vulnerability is feared by narcissistic individuals because they don't want to let their guard down. They don't want to let anybody in. We can all build walls up to protect ourselves. With a narcissist, they build walls up so people can't see who they truly are as a person. Not so that they don't get hurt from other people, but so people can't recognise their lies and their deception. Vulnerability means that they have to question their own weaknesses, which we all know isn't pleasant. And when you're vulnerable with a narcissist, they will take advantage of those vulnerabilities and they will make your worst nightmares come true for you. Exposure. We've all done things in life that we're perhaps not proud of or we wouldn't have done if we'd have known better or we just tried to get away with something or we were just going through an incredibly difficult time. Exposure isn't pleasant. With a narcissist, they're some of the most deceitful, hurtful, hypocritical people you could ever meet. They lie and they cheat and they manipulate their way through relationships. Exposure terrifies a narcissist because they're seeking to sell people an illusion of who they are. They don't want their true selves to be revealed which is why they will go all out to ruin somebody else's reputation in order to protect their own. Being insignificant, again, being ignored by a narcissist is not pleasant. Having your opinions, your achievements mocked and dismissed by a narcissist, being told that you're incapable or that you're not good enough repeatedly by a narcissist is painful. Being ignored, being on the receiving end of the silent treatment, it isn't pleasant. And we can begin to fear this and we can begin to walk on eggshells around a narcissistic individual to protect ourselves from their silence because it cuts and it cuts deep. With a narcissist, they're seeking that excessive attention from those around them. They're seeking to be perceived as superior and better than all others. They're seeking that praise and that validation and that self-worth from other people. We can all fall into that trap. However, we have to learn to validate ourselves and give ourselves our own self-worth and our own intentions behind something. We can all look to other people for approval. With a narcissist, they need that from others. They can't stand being ignored. They believe that everybody else is beneath them, which is why they will seek to manipulate and hurt people. They will seek to ruin people who dare to stand up again against them. And the loss of control. Now, we can all like to have that sense of certainty within our lives, and it's not very nice when life becomes uncertain. When you're sailing along and you believe you've met someone and you've had children and you've got a home and then all of a sudden they up and leave and you find out they've had multiple affairs over the years, your whole past is suddenly shattered and you don't know who they were, you don't know who you were, your present is brought into question and your future is definitely brought into question and it can be devastating. When you lose a job, it can be devastating. There's so many things when we lose that sense of certainty within our lives that hits and it hits deep. With a narcissist, they need to be in control of everything and everyone. They need to be in control of other people. We're only in control of ourselves. And we're only in control of how we respond to outside situations. And a narcissist will go all out to provoke to get a negative response so that they can blame. They will go all out to frustrate you, to wind you up, to cause that resentment within you. So you naturally react in negative ways and then they can play the victim and blame you. The narcissist's need for control stems from their fear of vulnerability and their fear of abandonment, their fear of rejection, their fear of exposure. They believe that by maintaining that power and control over those around them protects themselves and it's essential for their survival. However, the need for control is ultimately the narcissist's downfall. 
their relentless quest and pursuit for control over others leads to their toxic and manipulative behaviours that damages no end of relationships and pushes people away from them. The narcissist attempts to maintain control over other people eventually alienates people away from them, creating a vicious cycle of loneliness and isolation to the narcissistic individual to which they don't believe that they're to blame. They will just turn around and blame you for not being there for them. If anyone has any thoughts on this video or any fears of a narcissist that you notice, please do add those into the comments for people reading through. Thank you very much to all the returning subscribers and your continued support of the channel. It's greatly appreciated. If you are new to the channel, I'm Elizabeth Shaw. This channel is all about narcissistic behaviour to give you more understanding of the people you might be dealing with within your life, how to handle yourself around those people if you cannot go no contact and different methods to find what works for you to help you understand and overcome narcissistic and emotional abuse. If you do find the information helpful on the channel, please do subscribe. If you are looking for the help and support in understanding and overcoming narcissistic and emotional abuse, I do have several online guides available and those teachable links are in the video description. If you're looking for someone to speak to, I have partnered with BetterHelp and their sponsored link is also in the video description. I do also have several books out on Amazon, 15 Rules to Do with Narcissistic People If You Cannot Go No Contact, A Narcissist Handbook, which is the ultimate guide to understanding and overcoming narcissistic and emotional abuse, and how to create boundaries around those who have no respect for your boundaries. They'll be in the description also if you'd like to go and check those out. Go out there and create the day that you deserve because you do deserve to have an amazing day. Bye.